Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you 26 April, getting towards the end of the month. Um, Aussie CPI out last night, kind of mixed. The trimmed mean came in lower, 1.2, expecting 1.4. Year on year, a little bit lower. Quarter on quarter, a tiny bit higher. Uh, the Aussie moved lower. Uh, combination of risk off and, and slight miss on CPI. Um, the reason we talk about Aussie is it's it's getting stretched down here, 65.70 looks stretched, and then Aussie Swiss also, um, like the Swiss against every currency in the world, CAD Swiss, Aussie Swiss, less so dollar Swiss here. Um, Swiss Norway, um, these are all getting Swiss yen, the Swiss yen turned yesterday from the all-time highs, but these are all at like all-time, um, all-time highs for the Swiss franc against every other currency in the world. This is back, this is Aussie Swiss from 1980, um, I guess 54, still another 400 points, but you can see we're just... Swiss franc against everything is getting very, very stretched. And even though it, there's no real reason to sell Swiss francs, uh, credit Swiss aside, if the Swiss franc is like getting stretched against every currency in the world, here's a Swiss yen, bearish engulfing yesterday. Basically, you could say finally a turn after, after 1,200 points in a straight line. Um, Printed a low of 61, now at 10. Um, I don't know how much longer uh, the Swiss franc can live here. But, you know, it may not go anywhere, right? The volatility has been crushed. But it's just something to keep an eye on. Uh, Aussie Swiss today is something that we'll be watching uh, down at, I don't know, 58.60. So still 20 points but we're looking at that uh, at that Aussie Swiss let's take a look at euro dollar here big red day yesterday really for no reason just I think there was a lot of um, recent longs through 110 they've all been taken out um, big red day didn't quite bearish engulf there um, 65 held we actually like uh, to fade this especially with U.S. rates um, down at 341. I mean, how about this rate story? As soon as Bloomberg printed that biggest ever position, short bonds, um, <laughs> bonds just skyrack skyrocketed. Uh, anyway, euro here, let's, let's look at this. The 65 level is now held a couple of times. Uh, we were actually long euros. Uh, we bought some 77s. Uh, and we're going to trade this from the long side today and see how that goes. But uh, cable also broke through that 124.70, got up to 05. All of the longs got stopped out, back down to 123.86. This area here looks quite supportive um, in cable. And, of course, we know... The reason this is supportive, I think, and, and what the what the flock is thinking is this: that's just that 10% inflation, right? So the so the BOE is fucked. They have to raise rates, um, even though that's bad for the country and bad for the economy. Uh, it's actually good for the currency. Um, so and also a higher sterling also helps lower inflation as well. So uh, sterling also looks supportive. So we're we don't own any sterling, but we're we're playing euro dollar from the long side. Obviously, sterling would have been a better play if we had bought near the lows uh, yesterday instead of the euro dollar lows. But say la vie. Um, let's take a look at that uh, Swiss yen again. This was a little bit dicey here, um, but this is a very bearish bar. So all-time highs, 151.50, let's call it. We can go all the way back to this. 
151.60 was the actual um, highs recently, but if you go this, you know, we're, I guess in, in 1979, it traded up to 158.45, so not exactly the all-time highs, but you can see we're in, we're in rarefied air up here, uh, bearish engulfing, BOJ on Friday, um, if the BOJ moves, this is your horse, right, um, so I don't know how you want to play this, but maybe selling some high ones today and getting into a, a, a decent average going into Friday could could be one way to do it. Uh, but something to think about. Swiss yen, rarefied air. Let's also look at CAD Swiss. This is also uh, all time all time lows for the CAD against the Swiss. Uh, we're also you know two and a half sigma from from the 34 day. I don't know what dollar cat is doing up here. I mean, oil's back at 77.50. Oil hasn't really done much. It went up, it went down. Um, CAD has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight straight days of weaker CAD. Um, I don't know. Selling dollar CAD somewhere uh, between 30 and 50 seems seems like a good idea to us today as well. So we're we're kind of watching that. Let's take a look at Euro Swiss. This is a fucking dick in a box, right? What the fuck was that? And we talked about it yesterday, how candlesticks just don't fucking work in this shit. So Euro Swiss, if you look at the dailies, you're like, oh, cute. Monday, we had this Gravestone Doji. Tuesday, we made a higher high. And then we just, we bearish engulfed the whole fucking shit. And, uh, and Euro Swiss went down to fuck is that 65 and a half like in the ass uh very difficult to make any rhyme or reason or sense out of this now we're back at 90 are we gonna bullish engulf now just to totally fuck people's minds i don't know why not right uh this is euro swiss only the uh gnomes and people in zurich know how to trade this uh but just saying what the hell that was um that was dick in a box, uh, that one there. Um, no idea what to do with Euro-Swiss. Finally, let's look at Euro-Norway. Also, rarefied air. This shit just won't go down. Um, again, like CAD, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 straight days of green. Um, I don't know what's going to turn this. Uh, I guess you got to keep an eye on oil. I was a little more confident this was going to turn as oil was peaking through 79. 77.50, not really sure what that means, um, but Euro Norway and Dollar CAD look a little bit mispriced to me. Here's Euro CAD also. All the CAD crosses look a little bit fluky here. Um, so short Dollar CAD looks, looks okay to us between 30 and 50. We're not going to touch Euro Norway, but it's kind of the same trade. Um, and also long, long Euro Dollar. This is, uh, this is how we roll today. That's all I got for you. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you uh, tomorrow, tomorrow.